See the stumbling blocks, I just slipped on cracks It's commandment plus, so we need to stay on track Your heart as a house at mercy, put it on my back One body but you have a shy, no so we can't move slack It's a slavery, these are our enemies, right? The ones that are, the I ones that, in love. these are the Romans Right? These are the Romans, these are our enemies, the ones that sacked Jerusalem oh, wait. in the time of Vespasian. You've heard of um, Titus? Have you heard of Titus? Yes. You know, he sacked Jerusalem and they kicked us out of Israel. Uh -huh. And now they call us niggers. Okay. They call us black men. Okay. And in America, we're, we're not even a whole man, we're three fifths of a man. Okay. So we're, these are our enemies. Only our wait, enemy would say that we're not a man. Let me rewind you. No, no, we're only because the three first thing that you read to me, right, was about. Uh, but didn't you consider that as your enemy, though? I'm asking you. I'm asking you one question. Yeah, go on. Would you consider that your enemy would call you three fifths of a man? Would that not be your enemy? I have no enemies. All right, go on then. So go on, what's, so what do you, you say now? So, firstly, you said when the Buddha is at verse 12. That, uh, that we can't trust that one group within. Chapter okay. 12. Chapter yeah. 12 within. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, but, that, but that group infiltrates, and, and what they do is they turn and they divide, right? And the, and the problem is, when you paint the whole wall with one brush, you can't see the right underneath. Where's your father from? My father is from Antigua. From, from beyond that, we don't know. Okay. So, where your, so where your father's from, consider you as an Israelite because your forefathers went through cotton fields, sugar cane plantations, yeah. we went through hardships. Yes. Right? Same true. as our fathers, same as our fathers. Because we, we go we don't go by the the, the mothers. Uh -huh. The chromosomes, it's the Y and the X chromosome. The woman don't carry one uh, they they're missing one of the chromosomes. So the male we carry the male the seed the gene the genome the seed the, oh. line, the lineage, the loins. Mm -hmm. We carry, we got the men carry the name the whole way. You have yeah. your father's last name, I suggest. Yeah. All right. So in the name of our fathers, the fathers go on to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, yeah. and the twelve tribes of Israel. Yeah. The Israelites go through slavery, all right, and persecution, yeah. all right, having to buy from our oppressors, every ray bands, all these things are. We buy it from our, our slave master because we are great curses of the Bible. Yeah. We are cursed. I the white man is enslaved as well. The white man is called the Edomite, they're a pink man. They're a pink man. Understand? They're not, they're not this colour. Yeah. Understand? No, it's shade, that's a shade. White and black are shades. They're Caucasian. They're not colours. They're, they're pink, whatever you want to call it. So the, I pink, believe, so the Caucasian man, like that. the Caucasian you. man has that's never been enslaved. Even even the Irish, you know, says no blacks, no dogs, no Irish. Yeah. The Irish were the paddy rollers. When they went to America, they had an opportunity, the land of the opportunity. Irish lived for the Jamaicans, English. The <laughs> Irish, the, 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 you're talking about um, Bellamy and um, Blackbeard. Mm. You're talking about the pirates. Mm. They they stole when they when the pirates stole for, for gold and they found a lot of sugar, cotton on the boats. They found cargo as well, slaves. And they, some of them, they didn't. They, they, they actually freed some of a lot of the slaves and turned them into um, jangles. You know, like um, Jamie Foxx. They turned them into um, pirates. Pirates, killers of what? Oh, that's um, why, that's bounty why, hunters. Bounty hunters. That's why a lot of the uh, the popes and the and the church, the Vatican, was very upset with the pirates because the pirates, when they were really, they were military because there was the, there was the, the Spanish. Um, uh, I'm, 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 the, the Spanish I'm, I'm, Armada. Armada. The Spanish Armada. They they, they lost the resources, the gold in a ship, and that was the treasury of Spain. So a lot of the the military of France and the military of England, they went into the the Caribbean to do what to find the lost gold of Puerto Rico, of Richport, the Richport, the the city of riches, right? And they, when they when they were going to try to find it, they couldn't find the boat. They found what else? They found slaves. They found they found the, 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 the Native Americans, and if they realized they could make um, money from the land of America. Now this is what we're here for. We're here to tell our people why we're in these conditions, man. Okay. Why we are persecuted. Get, get the enemy of the of the Israelites. The Psalms. Get Psalms. Give me. Give, there's a lot about the enemies of the Israelites. Get the one. Um, the one in um, the enemies of the Israelites. Um, Deuteronomy chapter twenty-eight. And verse uh, the eagle. 
first, yeah? Yeah, bring up that. Any, anyone about the enemies this of the Israelites? This is the book Israelites. of Psalms, chapter 83 from the top. Read. Keep not thy silence, O God, and hold not thy peace, and be not still, O God, Go for lo, thine enemies, thine enemies have made a, make a tumult. Thy enemies make a tumult, all right? Read. And they that hate thee have lifted up the head. So they hate us. Right, they've lifted up their head, right? Yeah. They have taken crafty counsel, crafty counsel against right? thy people. Right, the United Nations. Look what, the, look what the, the EU looks like. It looks like Babylon Tower. Yeah. That's the EU Parliament uh, that looks exactly like Babylon. There's nothing new under the sun. What do you think about that? We're or thinking. Babylon. We're thinking right now. We're living under the infrastructure of Babylon, right? And of, of, of Egypt and Sodom. Yeah. Right. Yeah. They have consulted against. Thy people. They've consulted against thy people. Yeah. Really? They, they have taken craft slacker. Yeah. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. They have consulted against it's thy like hidden ones. ones. Yeah. They have said, Come, Come and let us cut, cut them, them off from being a nation. That's the first thing we said. Who are the Israelites? Because they've spent billions, if not trillions, on, on suppressing it's the more. Israelites. On trying okay. to make them not to be known as a people. All right? These brothers said these are Israelites, man. Huh? I know my people, man. This brother is our brother. He's our Emmanuel. He's our brother, man. He looks like the the man that was saying, "Hey, Yahweh, uh, hey, Yahweh." Uh, uh. You understand? And we have the same God. Our God is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You understand? And He knows this, man. This that's not the God of the white man. The God of the white man is Satan. The God of the Chinese is Buddha. The God of the Indians is a monk or, or is an elephant. elephant. Some people say that we're going to the same reflection. No, no, there's no reflecting us. With the, we don't have the same. When we look in the mirror, there's no reflection that's the same as us. Man. When we look at an a, a, a Ethiopian, we don't have the same reflection as them. We don't. We're completely different. They put their heads on the cows and they drink cow. They drink cow. Like, urine and that, what, what, what and cow blood. People There's no reflection of us with the, 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 the guys that bounce. Process. No, the guys that go bouncy, bouncy, the, 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 the Kenyans. And the, we're not, we're not, no resemblance to them when you look in the mirror. We're still focused on the physicality, though. But yeah, that's what physical is yeah. when you look in the mirror. I'm talking about God. Yeah, we are made in the image of God in physicality. The God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, is our God. That's why when we use the Bible, we're not using Siva. The God of the damn Siva and Buddha and so uh, we're using the God of Buddha. Head is. We're going off the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. When you first came up here, we said we were here to, to use the standpoints of the Bible. So the Bible it expresses that it's only for Jacob's children. Psalms 147. He's not written this. For anyone else except Israel, mm -hmm. because the other nations don't know the judgments, and we're reading the judgment. These are the judgments: single parent households, right? Black on black crime, blonde, blonde wigs. Blonde is a dumb. Blonde is meant to be a bimbo, according to the Babylon, according to this world. Why does our women want to have blonde hair now? Look, this is meant to be a dumb dummy. What's her name? Barbie, or Sabrina, and. Her. Why does our women want to whore at themselves, right? When they don't want to be what? Having a nice beautiful dress and modest apparel. But yet they want their, 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 their tum -tum all like, but it's a curse on our people. That when you look at an Indian woman, how is, he's, how is the, a man in an Indian house? They've got what? Mortgage, free cars, children get to live behind inheritance. If our people, if we die, if our people, if we die, you don't even know how you're gonna get buried or cremated and that. Do we leave behind anything for our children to we leave them in debt some of our people a lot of our people? Yeah, mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? This is because we are the what the first ones to be fired, the last ones to get hired. We don't get the opportunities and because we why that. we are living we don't make opportunities. We're living no because we, we are support. cursed, because the most high disagree. Because we are cursed, we don't keep the laws and commandments. That's right. Right. Shall I finish this in do you, do you get Please finish it, bro. Do you get what we're going with this now? Do you get what we're going with this though? There's a people that are suppressing us. Okay. Have you heard of William Lynch? Willie Lynch, he wrote a slave book. 
all right, to go out to all the slave owners yeah. that can suppress our people. Yeah. All right, it says put the big ones against the small ones, yes. put the tall ones against the short ones, put the fat ones against the skinny ones, put the males against the females, put the, put the light skins against the dark skins. He says because what this is going to do is going to keep them segregated and we will have more, they won't have any order and infrastructure. So there's, there's cities, the cities called Tulsa, Oklahoma. The cities in Chicago. There's a lot of cities that are buried under water because these were black, civil, black towns right. Right. where we had civilization, when we had infrastructure, we had libraries, we had right. schooling, right. we had hospitals, cinemas. We had, we had, this is in America, you know. This is, our, this is out of slavery. When we gathered together with one mindset of consciousness, we was moving. We was moving correct. But they, their whole humanity, exactly. That's what we are saying. When they got Chinatown, when you got the Turks that come over here, when you got the Indians, when they move together, they have they they, they move correct. Right, like the Gypsy, even the Gypsies, when they're in the caravans all together, they move correct. They go, they move upwards. You understand? We are what? Moving for Louis Vuitton, for Hennessy, yeah. for a German whip. You understand? Yeah. For a diamond chain. Technology, I for, for For an iPhone. And then, and what's that doing to us? Right? We're, 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 we're killing each other. We only get together, we only get together for stupidness, for folly, so we can be half naked and shake our ass. And, 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 and touch and, and grab their tits. We only get together for stupidness. Or, or to praise white white books. To praise up to praise um uh, Arab books. We don't get together for, for, for righteousness. Uh, show him why, go on. Read that Psalms one. 83 and verse 4. They have said, Come and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel, the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. No more in remembrance. For they have consulted together with one consent. Go on. They are confederate against them. They are confederate against us. The tabernacles of Edom. The tabernacle of Edom, right? The so-called white man, Esau, right? So turn this one over, I think, bro. Oh no, it's here, look. Edom, East Edomites. The tabernacles of Edom, alright? And the Ishmaelites. And the Ishmaelites. And remember we told you, right? The white man. There you go. You see, remember him? He took a picture of it, right? Yeah, yeah. Alright? It's telling you the, what their names are. Look. You see him? Yeah, yeah. Edom. Alright? Ish, Ish, and the Ishmaelites. Ishmael. Alright? The and Arab. of Moab. And of Moab. And of the Hagarines. Of Jebel and Ammon. And Amalek. And who? And, and Amalek. Amalek is the, is the grandson. The grandson of Esau. You understand? So look, and, and Amalek, who we told you today, are the synagogues of Satan, who they, who they like to call themselves the um, the Ishi, the Ishi, the Ishi people. They're the Ishi, man. They're, they're, they're not they're not the real ones. They're Ish. They wish. They wish okay. to be us. Right. Yeah. Right. Give me the enemies of our people. God. So these are our enemies, man. You're saying that God God has enemies. God's children, God's chosen people in the world has enemies and we can actually identify identify exactly who they are with that song. So how do you fight your enemies? We fight our enemies. Give me um Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 4. So this so you want to read that first? I was gonna get Yeah we're gonna read this and then we'll show you how we fight our enemies. Like we just wanna because we gotta use a couple verses. We can't just use one verse. We've got to show you that every book in the Bible always says the same thing. You know what I mean? We use the volume of the whole book. That's right. Mm. How do you... How do you no, one said, one not too many questions. Hold that. Hold, that. It, Hold that. How do we know? This is the book of Deuteronomy 28 verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies. Right, so Egypt is, 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 a, is a word of, for, for, for bondage, slavery. That's what we was in Egypt with Moses, right? Right. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies. All right, sold unto your enemies. For bondmen and bondwomen. So this is it. We were sold unto our enemies for bondmen and bondwomen. All right. Go on. And no man shall buy you. So this is this is prophecy in the Bible all the way in Deuteronomy that we will go on ships into slavery. That is crazy. That's in the 1600s. 
and that's in Deuteronomy, way back in, in BC, man. Yeah. And that, and that was, it has to come to what pass. Book, what book is that from, the, the BC the, one? Oh, this is the book of the laws of the Torah. This is the book okay. of Deuteronomy, Moses, okay. when they made a covenant to keep the laws. If they don't keep the laws, they will go into slavery. Okay. This is the Israelites that, because there's a covenant. It means, it means a contract. If you go to work, you got to pass the probation period. And then when you pass, you get a contract and you, you get work. Maybe what, uh, free dental, free, uh, you know what I mean? You know in America, you get free Medicare. You get what I'm saying? That's yeah, the contract yeah, yeah. you have with them, right? And we got, and if you don't keep abide the contract, the abide by, you got well, you get disciplinary action, you get a bit of warning, you might get no pay. Your name is free and free. That's what it is. All right. Get the um. Get 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 the, the answer. What he says now. The correct one. This is how do we how do we fight our enemies, right? This is the book of Second Corinthians, chapter ten and verse four. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Get the deal with your adversaries to the Go on. But mighty through God to pull, pulling down of strongholds. But mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Casting down imagination. So, so, so the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. We use the Bible. This is our weapon. This is our sword. We don't, we don't, we don't need to fight them. The Messiah will fight them for us. That's right. The Messiah will subdue them for us. You know, we will pray. We'll send a curse on them. If the Bible says, "Bless them that bless you," that's what Abraham was promised with, right? and his children, and Isaac and Jacob. Bless them that bless you, and curse them that curse you. Right? Give me that. And, um, give me that. What are you want? You want to rewind on the? On yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Read that, read that. This is the book of Second Corinthians, chapter ten, and verse four. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Sister, you know about this, right? But mighty through God to pulling down of the strongholds, casting down imaginations, English. and every high thing Israelites. that exalted itself Israelites. against the knowledge of God, and bringing onto the captivity every through the obedience of Christ. So we're through, the, through this word, Everything gets smashed. So this is the book of uh, Matthew chapter 5 and verse 25. It says, agree with thine adversary quickly. Agree with that enemy quickly, right? Whilst thou art in the way with him. If you're in the way with them, just agree, man. Don't try and, oh, I'm going to punch you up and how do you deal with that enemies? Just start killing them off. All right, just agree with your adversary quickly. Least at any time the adversary deliver thee to the judge, and the judge deliver thee to the officer, and thou be cast into prison. And that's why you don't want to get pushed into prison. Yeah. You just agree with your adversary. You don't have to start a war and kick it up. You understand? Give me the um, Ephesians chapter 4, verse 26. Yeah. Ephesians 4, 26. No, no, it's just... It's, it's, this is in the book of Ephesians, chapter 4, verse 26. Okay. Be angry and sin not. Be, read that again. Be ye angry and sin not. So be ye angry, you can be upset, but surely oppression make a wise man mad. Understand? So we can be angry and we can be mad because we're wise, we soon get more wisdom. Because we, if we was a simple minded and say, oh, let's just forgive them, it wasn't them, it was their dads, it wasn't, you know what I mean? But we realize, we are. look what we're put through, man. Slavery then, slavery now. Where is that? Oh, look at that. That's madness. Right. Slavery then, slavery now. Be ye angry about this, but do not. Look, be ye angry the same thing. The same jail cells is showing you that you can be put into slavery. Us going into prison is another way of slavery, free labor, man. Right? Be angry, but sin not, man. Go on, me now. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 54, verse 17. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. No weapon that is formed against us shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in, the, in judgment, thou shalt condemn. Yes, yeah, so we, we got to condemn it. Right, thou shalt condemn. Right? 
No weapon that is formed against us shall prosper. You understand? Give me that Psalms 125 and verse 15. Every tongue that rises up against us, thou shalt condemn. Read. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, saith uh -huh. the Lord. So this is our inheritance. We've been inherited from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Bless them that bless you. Curse them that curse you. Can. No weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. The Most High says, um, read that. Give me the one that says, um, this is the book of Psalms, uh, chapter Proverbs 105 16. and verse Amen. 14. He suffered no man to do them wrong. Yea. 15, 15. Just a point. Uh, yeah, 15. Saying, verse 15, saying, touch not mine anointed. Touch not mine anointed. And do my prophets no, no harm. So he says, don't even do his prophets no harm. Touch not his anointed ones. He says, how do we do with the enemy? The most has got us, man. Don't have to go crazy and start smacking up them. That mm -hmm. this. Mm -hmm. this is that the doesn't mean that doesn't mean we can't defend ourselves. Oh. You know, you know, there's laws already that we can abide by. These laws of the of these lands, isn't it? If man touch you, and then uh, uh, we're considered the self defense to, to, to defend ourselves, so we don't they don't kill us. That's why we got a camera. So when we teach, we might teach that a bit that, that might rustle some feathers of the demons that are. Around. Satan might jump on them. You get me? Doesn't mean we gotta be weaklings, shiver up. It just means you know what? If our adversary say something mad, say okay, cool, keep it moving. You understand? Know That's how we use wisdom. You gotta be as wise as the dove and as um, as, as wise as the serpent. serpent harmless as the dove. Harmless as the dove, because the serpent slivers around and flies. So we gotta know how the serpent thinks. Serpent is knowledge. Serpent is smart. It's knowledge is wise. Yeah. I read this. Uh, this is uh, Proverbs chapter 16 and verse 7. When a man's ways please the Lord, he maketh even his enemies to be at peace with him. So if you please the most high, the enemy shouldn't really be really on to you. If you're displeasing the most high, that's when you've got to say, Yo, you're, you're doing something shaky, you're doing something wrong, you're coming in the wrong spirit. Where do you buy this? Where do you get this from? Frankincense and myrrh, bro. We buy it from um, numerous other amounts of places. We have it, we get it online. Frankincense and myrrh, we get it from um, Dawson, Brixton. We get some, some in um, Leighton, is it Leighton High Road? Yeah. yeah. It's real, it's um, Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Get, no. you know this. Really so, so, do you know, you're an Israelite, do you know this? I don't know it. Through your fathers, because we read this is what happens to our forefathers for disobeying yeah. the commandments. This is prophetic. This, so that is how we identify why we're Israelites. The single parent households and the black on black crime and all of this atrocities are so, happening. So, so the whole the whole of Africa is Israel. No. Okay. Alright, get the get the ham, get hammers. Is it this one? Only, mm -mm. only, only by my ancestors been enslaved and my Israelite. Yeah. And Israelite is, is no, the no, end. Must, so that again, only, only, the, only by my ancestors. Only by your slaves. fathers, only by your yeah, yeah. Our fathers' lineage. This one, can you listen to the Just this one here, just listen to this. Uh, ring up, ring up. Yeah, so it says, uh, this is in the Compact Bible Dictionary, right? Yeah. And this is mentioned in Ham. Alright, you know you know, you got the three progenitors of Noah. Yeah. The progenitors meaning the three sons of Noah, right? Uh -huh. You got Ham, Shem, and Japheth. So yeah. after the flood, these are the kings of the world. Yeah. These are the people that live on the world, right? Yeah. Now Ham, right? Noah's son, right? It says he has sons the Southwest, Asia, Cain and Africa. This is this is where we know Africa today, right? Mm. This is talking about Kush, Mitch, Mitzrayim, Egypt, Put, and Canaanites, right? Yeah. Now these guys look, Ham, the youngest of Noah, right? The progenitor of the dark races, not the Negroes. See that? Not the Negroes. This is in the Bible okay. dictionary, right? What's the difference? What All right, the, the but but this is the difference. Yeah. But the Egyptians, Ethiopians, Lib Libyans, and Canaanites. Okay. So like the Somalians, you know what I mean? Rwandans, yeah. Eritreans, yeah. Kenyans. Understand? There's yeah. the Bantus and then there's the Nilotics. Okay. All right, the Luos and stuff. Okay. Them tribes. Yeah. Right. And they weren't enslaved. They're not like us. No. There was even, if you look up in history, when all of these Europeans came to 
take pieces of Africa, yeah. the Christians, all right, was fighting against because there was the the, the what's his name the what's his name the the Tigi the Tigi man or what's his name Togo or something. There was a, there was a, there was a general in Africa. They don't talk about the wars in Africa. Understand? But there was a war in, there was a general in Africa and he was conquering man with bows and arrows, fighting guns and that man. And they was destroying them because they were in their homelands. They were in our you know what I mean? We know that. The inhabitants, the terrorists, and that, right? And they was building shacks, setting them up like like three like the three hundred Spartans, and that they was they was setting them up sieges around them, and that camping around and using the terrains like the Levites, like them, the Haitians were doing with the crocodiles, and that you get me. They was using them tactics of the world and the land and the, the land. The inhabitants were poisoning them. You get me using smart wits. To, to, to bring in any of these Europeans that were coming to take their lands, right? So in, um, you could say Congo area, the Mali, the Mali dynasty were more, you could say the Moors and that, they were more Muslim. Understand? Yeah. Not all the Moors were Muslim, but you know a lot of the, the Malis, the Mali empire, there was, um, they were, Ish, they were Islamic. And it, so they was like but that comes later, right? That, that's, yeah, but that's we're, we're still talking wrong. about still talking about the aspects of the lands in that, in that time, right? Before, before then, they, they wouldn't have been. They wouldn't have no, been they wouldn't have been. been but we're talking about that sort of era, that era, yeah. right? So that era, what happened was the Bantu. These are the, uh, the Bantu nations, right? Because it says in the commandments, in the, in, the, in, the, in the curses, that we will serve wood and stone. So we were serving the stone. We were serving other nations, Ishmael. And uh, God. So what happened is there was a lot of our, a lot of them in that weren't serving Christianity. They were serving um, Ish, uh, Islam. So when they were serving Islam, the Ethiopians they were serving Christianity. So they started parties with the. They started parties with the Europeans that came in. To, to, to now get through and start to conquer. That's why Ethiopia has never been conquered because they've had agreements, they've had agreements with Africa, mm -hmm. uh, uh, with Europe, sorry. The reason why that the, the queen bowed to the, the, the Selassie, you know, the, the Ethiopian king, he's done. He gave, he gave them what, big diamonds and that. There's a, actually, there's a, there's a, because it's part of the family. We read it in Psalms 83 about the people, the, Across the, the, council. the, the crafty council yes. against Israel. Yes. The Hamites are a part of it. Yes. Mm -hmm. King. Kush, man. Kush. Yeah. Yeah. Ethiopians, man. Kush. Kush. So we're Canaanites. All of the, these ones with these, these secondary names, which ones are part of the council? All of, them. all of these are part of the council apart against from, Israel. Apart okay. from the top one. All of these are part of the council against Israel. And we read it in Psalms um, 83. The Hagarines, they're the Hamites. As a wise man, let me ask you this. My mother is white. Is she my enemy? Yes! Your mother is the enemy. It's a, you right, brother? You right, sister? But we are the God's chosen in the world, and as God's chosen, we need to re we need to repent no worries, it's because it's the kingdom of God is at hand. Yes, we know that. And the Messiah, who they ignorantly call Jesus, I'm a brown-skinned man like we with woolly hair. He ain't no Caucasian man. You understand? That cross that they used to weaponize to kill our people. The KKK use it, the Romans use it, they mustn't glorify it. It's idol worship. Mm. Alright? Yes, sister. sister, we love you, right? Fear the Yamosa, Yahawa, and keep his commandments. Yeah, yeah, I can do you one. So, yeah, so, so back to your, love you, sister, right? So, back to what you were saying, though, bro, man. Yeah. Um, you said, you were saying, um, it's, it's as love. a wise man, your, about your mom, is she your enemy? Yes, she is, right? And don't trust none of them. Understand? Don't trust none of them, man. Look, look, look at them. Look at the woman. You understand how that's hard to accept, right? If I told you, look, look, your mother was your enemy. Look at this. Look at this woman here. Yeah. 
that could be your woman, that could be your mom's or your your mom's dad's grandmother. That could be your mom, your your mom, your your mom's dad's dad. That, 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 that could be my mom's mom's dad's dad. Could be your mom's mom's dad's dad or your mom's dad's mom. No, your mom's dad's dad's mom. It yeah. could be any sort of way. Yeah, yeah. These could be your mom's lineage, but, but it's not yours. Well, it's not yours. Okay. Your mom's lineage is through her father. Your lineage is through your father. So this is your father's people. This is your people. Because you are regenerated through your father's seed line. You're not regenerated through your mom's seed line. Do you know that? You come back through your father's. Your inheritance is of your father's land. She's going to inherit her dad's land. Or whatever, you get what I'm saying? <laughs> but you get what I'm saying? The will. Yeah. Her will is through her dad. Your will is going to be through your dad. When you say will, are you talking when about you spiritual will? Or you're talking when you pass, about. This, I don't, yeah, more yeah. than physical. Yeah, yeah okay. the, the spiritual. Just to clarify, yeah, thank you. The spiritual, yeah. Yes, yes. Get, 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 get your, his mum's spiritual will that's coming to, to, coming to her. Isaiah. This is the book of Isaiah. Chapter 14 and verse 21. This is what's coming for your mother. And brother, this brother's this brother's the same mother as as as, as you as well, bro, uh, on that side, bro. Is that? Prepare slaughter. Fire like king. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 14, verse 21. Bring it up! Prepare slaughter. Prepare, Prepare slaughter, slaughter for his children. children. For, for the, the iniquity of their fathers. fathers. For the for, for the, the iniquity, iniquity of, of their, their fathers. fathers. For the iniquity of their fathers. That they do not rise. That they do not rise. Nor possess the land. Because they've had a chance. They've had the land. Right? Nor fill the face of the world with cities. And, and their cities are, are declared with blood. Their cities are the nothing to offer but blood. I've got five your, your, your mom, Your mum likes um, rare meat, right? No. Medium rare and all them things. Oh, no, right? oh. Bro, look what they do, man. Understand? She needs suntan lotion, innit? In oh, the sun, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, there you go. Mosai hates her. Mosai hates her. For the Mosai to bring the sun to burn you and get skin cancer, just shows you don't like it. We get more powerful in the sun. You know that, right? Like, it's all like, call us Superman. Right? So, we got to affect the Mosai. This guy that burns in the sun, one of your mum's brothers, brother, right? I have nothing to offer. Winston Churchill. I have nothing to offer but blood, toils, tears, and sweat. And that's how they built this land. They've got nothing to offer but blood. And that's and the, they Salaki so King. The way they built this land is they didn't build it off their back. They did it through the windrush period, through slavery. Yeah. They didn't actually build it themselves. They brought our ancestors over from the Caribbean to do the building. And we didn't, we ain't got the liberty for it. So. Oh, this is Habakkuk, chapter uh, two, and verse, I'll stop, can I get five or something? Just, just get going, so. Yeah, Habakkuk two and verse 12. Woe to him that buildeth a town and with blood and establish a city by iniquity. So woe to them that build up a town with blood and establish the world with iniquities. That's what they done. They built this town with blood. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 28 and, 50, and 40, uh, 49. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 49. And it reads, easy, right? yeah. Yeah, yeah. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far, from, far. from the end of the earth as swift as the eagle flying. Shout, shout, shout. As swift. Like, yeah. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far, from the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle flyeth. As swift whose, as the eagle flyeth. Whose nation, whose tongue, hey, it's like, yeah, a nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. See that? Look, that's on the, 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 this is the book of Obadiah, chapter 1 and verse 1. 
The vision of Obadiah, thus saith the Lord God concerning Edom. Concerning the Edomites, Esau, Edom, Edom, Edomite, Esau. We have heard a rumor of the Lord, and an ambassador is sent among the heathen. All right. Arise ye, and let us rise up against her in battle. We need to rise up against her. Behold. Well, um, look, she's your mum. Honor your father and mother. You understand? She's your mum, you know what I mean? I'm not saying you to just start slapping up your mum and telling her nothing. Look, she's your adversary, agree with her. She'll put you in prison. She's the enemy. Beware of her. She might, she might poison you. She's gonna rust. She's gonna her, her true colours are gonna show forth. She's gonna say nigger one day. Understand? Because they all they, they the Bible is the truth, man. It says they're gonna rust. Yeah, right? at the beginning they're gonna be nice and glossy. But then you're gonna start seeing it, start to get take you many the tetanus injection, man. So you gotta watch it. At the beginning it's cool. 30 years down the line now, nigger comes out of her mouth. This is 35 years down the line. Well, you get what I'm saying? 88 babies. You know, 88 she's, babies she's start been getting nigger. <laughs> yeah, she's been beating up. 80, my 80, 88 babies start getting called yeah, nigger. Behold, I have... She don't like no nigger. Man. Behold, I have made the thee enemy. small. I have made thee small. Slacker. Behold, I have made thee small. Among the heathen, Go on. thou art greatly despised. Go on. The pride of the heart has deceived thee. The pride of the heart has deceived thee. Thou dwellest in the cliffs of yeah. the rocks, whose yeah. habitation is high. Whose habitation is high. That saith to the rock, that saith in his heart, whom shall bring me down to the ground? And that's what they say there. Habitation is like the eagle, right? That's what he said, right? Yeah. Though thy exalt thyself as an eagle. Though thy what? Though, Though thy exalt, exalt thyself as the eagle. eagle. And though thou set thy nest among the stars, thence will I bring thee down, do saith the Lord. How would you feel about your mum's people's kingdom getting brought down by the Most High? This kingdom? This, this where, kingdom can bring itself down itself. This, 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 yeah, but the Most High is going to use his people, Israelites, to bring this kingdom down. How do you feel about Negroes smashing Caucasians? With his, uh, and the Spanish, well, he goes and his Spanish. The most side with yours, it would have to be so. No, the most is going to make us have patience and then he's going to use us because the because the blood is of the blood has been spilled. I, I interpret it as something less physical, Give, personally. No, it's a think, lot, it's a lot. It's just within the soul. You know what? It's the book of Revelation. There's a, a lot of physicality Chapter coming. Two. It's only on the physical plane. Because remember, they're, they're, they're proud. Them. They're not going to want to give up this proud. And that's the same for all what? people. What's your name? What's your name, man? Joseph. Joseph. Yeah, what's, yeah, what's up? up? Yeah, what's up? This, this place is very proud. They've got guns. They've got Gatling guns. They've got nuclear weapons. Look what they've done to Africa. They're they're are they gonna? Are they getting out of Africa? Africa, South Africa belongs to them guys, the, the Hamites, right? Are they gonna get out of South Africa? No. They're gonna pick up guns and arms. They actually started training them. Mm -hmm. They started bringing a miss missionary groups to train the South African whites, right? To, to, to defend themselves. They're did proud. Jesus, did Jesus fight the Jeshua fight? Listen, you're not listening though, man. I am listening, bro. They're very proud. They're not gonna give it up without a fight. Okay. So, the Most High is gonna bring them down with a, with a, with a, with a fight. Because he's a man of war, he's not a man of tickles and hugs. Give me that, give me the man of war. What's that close my enemy? This is um, Exodus chapter 15 and verse 3. It says, The Lord is a man of war, Yahweh is his name. The Lord is a man of war, he's not a man of tickles and hugs. Read. This is the book of Luke, chapter 19, verse 27. But those my enemies, which not that I should reign over them, Bring them hither and slay them before me. So yeah, it also has gone on man as a war team. So says when I come enemies. when I come next time, I'm not come to bring peace, I've come to bring a sword. Get, get that in 1251. Luke 1251. This is the book of Luke, chapter 12, verse 51, and it reads. Suppose that I come to give peace on earth, I tell you nay, but rather division. Yeah. There you go, division, and with a sword as well. You divide with a, you, you, you sever, you divide with a, with a, with a, with a chopping. So, coming to bring no peace and everyone hold hands, come by, um, and 
and hold hands. Precept. He's coming to, to, to the destroyer of the Gentiles is on his way. Uh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this is the book of Revelations, chapter 2 and verse 26. 25. He, 25, 25. 25, can't. Uh, oh, that but is. that which you have already, hold, hold fast, fast till I come. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. You have power over the nations, over the other nations, the Israelites, right? Really? And he shall rule them with, with a rod, rod of iron. iron. So I said, how do you feel about ruling over your mom with a rod of iron? As she, a vessel, if she's not the nation of Israel, nah, as a vessel of this. a potter, shall they be broken to shivers. If they, if they start acting up, they're going to be broken to shivers. Even as I received of my father. So the same wrong. way the Messiah received it. The Messiah, the same way the Messiah received them, he's going to, the other nations are going to be broken. Okay. You had the Babylonian king, yeah? That, yeah. Had, that had the dream of the fall of Babylon. And it showed the, 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 the statue, right? The brass going yeah. down to his name. And it represents yeah. different, yeah. different kingdoms. Yeah. So, so you're saying the iron rod. Yeah. I that not as physically us ruling over with an iron rod, but as a representation of the new wave of the, the new epoch. Brother, yeah. So, so give me Isaac. Wrote, give me ex, give me Ezekiel chapter twenty-five and verse fourteen. What you're reading, right? Is I don't. Maybe you got a sweat. You was nearly. You know if you had done even the marks, right? Out of ten, you got about a four. You got about a four. Who's grading? I'm grading. I'm grading. Okay. You got a four in my in in my okay, curriculum, right? Grade. It's not by a tennis four, but you're right. That's talking about because it's a great millstone that's gonna come and destroy, and that's the Messiah. But like, this is how he's gonna do it. Yeah. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 25. Shall we from the top or from? Um, There's so many, but I don't think you've got time to go through. No, I've got a roll, but got, it's interesting. I'm going to go the um, yeah, verse 12 from 12. Come on, 12. 12 to 14. Thus saith the Lord God, because Ezekiel Edom... Ezekiel chapter 25, verse 12. Verse 12. Thus saith the Lord God, because Edom... Because Edom... ...have dealt against the house of Judah. Because he's dealt against the house of Judah, really. By taking vengeance. By taking vengeance. Well, and have greatly offended. And have what? And, and have, have greatly, greatly offended. offended. Greatly offended, And yeah. revenged himself upon them. And revenged himself upon them. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God. Thus saith the Lord God. I will also stretch out my hand upon Edom. Stretch his hand upon Edom. And I will cut off man and beast from it. It's going to stop the, the, these people from, from ruling on the earth, read. Verse 14. I will lay my vengeance upon Edom. But do you like the way these people are ruling the earth right now? I don't see it as people, that's where we differ, bro. But pedophilia is on our, is on our all time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think there's so, actually a law, there's a law to go, there's a law that, you call them what, they're not called pedophiles no more, they're called what? They uh, they're all, they're 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 concepts like there's, there's, banking, you know there's a, you know there's a genre, what they call it again? Um, um, uh, a man, my man, a You know like how there's single, there's married, there's other. You can, you can be a minor attracted person though. They've got a, they've got a status for them. Yeah. All right. Trying to make it not so bad. Yeah, not so bad. Like yeah. you can actually uh, be allowed to be attracted That's to minors. Brother, look, brother, look, look. We cannot advocate for the wicked. It's either the wicked or your righteous. There's no in between. All right, go on. It says, and I will lay my vengeance upon Eden because they got minor attracted persons in by the hand of my people Israel. Because by the hand of our people, brothers like mighty men like this, man. These mighty men are going to trample on, on these Caucasian people, man. Only barber shops, then there's one down there under the bridge, and there's another one on the top there near the college. There's a sign right there, the barber. Like you're an Israelite, man. Take a flyer and research yeah, them things brother. there. You're a brother. You're like a real chief. Yeah? yeah, man. It's important to know. Check the YouTube, yeah? Wait, wait, wait. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going. And I shall... And they shall do to Edom according to my anger. And they shall do to Edom according to my anger. And according to my fury. So it's not our anger. It's not our fury. The Most High is upset. And are, they, you, are you against the Most High? Okay, okay, go on. And they shall know my vengeance, 
saith the Lord God, by the hand of my people by Israel. But you know what it said though? By the hand of his people, by the hand of his people Israel, he is going to lay his anger on the Edomites. There's no, there's no private interpretation. There's no way you can try and divert it to mean something else. It says what it says. That's in the English. We can read it in the Hebrew. And it's going to say the same interpretation. There's no, we can, we can get other verses. We can get more verses. Uh, people want to downplay this. Mm -hmm. People want to shove this under the rug. As soon as you got men out here that hold it up high and say, to hell with you. Mother effers, but that's what they do, they, they F their mothers. You understand? To hell with you, mother effers. They, they, they wanna come and fight they, us. They wanna fight us now. Like, we're the enemy. Like, we've done something wrong. We ain't done nothing wrong. We, all we done was sit on, the, on our beaches and show them gold, and then they killed us, took the gold, and took us. You know what I mean? To be slaves. Kick cotton. Thank you. Love you, bro. Alright? You can't leave yet. You can't leave yet. We gotta give you one more before you leave. One more before right? you leave. Joseph. Give me the bit of chapter 19. 19 and 20, 27. 27. This is right? the bit of chapter 19 and verse 27. It says, "You shall not round the corners of your head." So now you know you're an Israelite. Okay. Today is considered as a Sabbath. That's why we're here. We had to teach on the Sabbath, right? And, and, and to show you love, bro, you can't round the corners of your head. You're not doing that. That's brilliant. Don't do that. See that the guy wanted to go to the barber shop? I hope you don't go get a line and shape up. You can't shape round the corners. You can't round the corners. That's what you did. I didn't ask for it. You can't round the corners of your head, right? Quiet, yeah, you, bad, you know, bad. all right, he, he doesn't yeah. like that, all right? That's good. Give him more of a round of applause. Right. All right? He doesn't want to round the corners of his, his head. That's good, right? Really? You shall not round the corners of your head. Neither shall thy mar the corners of thy bill. You, yeah. you can't fuck your bed. You do that and you keep the mushy. You got the, the Mario, the Super Mario thing going. Yeah, yeah. Right? The Luigi thing. The Luigi and the Mario brothers, right? You can't you can't do that. You can't cut the sides and the corners of your beds either. Okay. You know it's not the brothers. We've got our I've beds. Tried. I've, got, I've got a really bad <laughs> I've got like some mad balls. Yeah, I've got some. Yeah, I've got. Look, mine, mine don't go. Look. That's vanity, man. Don't worry about yeah. that. Look, look, we've got you some. You can say that we are nice. Look at this, man. I've got the cosines as well. I'll leave it. I'm not full, bro. I'm gonna find my style. Yeah, you can trim it low, bro. I'll give it a go, bro. You can trim it low. Alright, but just make sure that it's not lined up. Just done. Make sure it's just there. It's just just there, yeah. Like a mane. And we're not here to impress anybody. That's vanity. The most I know of Timmy Prober in Psalms 94 and 11. Right, we're not here, we're not here for that. Right, we're here to please the most high, not to please man. Mm -hmm. Come. This is Psalms 94 verse 11. The Lord knoweth the thoughts of man that they are vanity. The most I knows the thoughts of man. Or what the job or oh, my, my, my job says I can't do it like that's it. Or oh, what the job thinks, man. As long as we please the most high we're gonna have That's right. Uh, right. Right? If you can do anything here, yeah? you got a phone? Download this on your phone, the KJVA. It's got the apographer. You see that red book that the brother was holding? You see this book here? This is an addition to the Bible. Oh, I know about that. Yeah. It's called the Apocrypha. Yeah, yeah, I know that. In the in the in the Play Store, yeah. KJVA. So when you when you watch, if you watch any of our of our channels or any even other Hebrew Hebrew Israelites that you might watch right here, right? Because we're the Hebrew Israelites. Yeah. If, if you watch us, there's a the Apocrypha. That's like the Maccabees. Um, second Ezra's. First Ezra's, um, it's additional books, Wisdom of Solomon. Now these things we need to kind of read along with, because you, you don't want, want someone about, to just uh, read it to you. You want to do the ones non-canon, non-canon books. That oh yeah, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't subscribe to anything that's not of the, the like you said, the canon of the of yeah. the King James. Okay. If it's and, not of the King James, we don't subscribe. Follow up on that. Who who was the council that that, that transcribed the King James? 
because I heard from some people there's some there's some, there's some stuff that, that maybe is also not not the best interest. Well, the council uh, that subscribed to King James. Yeah. It's the um, what was the can the The Council of Narcia, yeah. right, has nothing to do yeah. with the Council of King James. Okay. Uh, the Council of Narcia yeah. was the council to, that um that brought in this this stuff. Yeah, yeah. And the Trinity. Right? The Trinity yeah. doctrine, white Jesus and um, Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. All of that Edomite. So that's separate to the King James. The that's, Vatican, the, that's the that's the that's the no 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 the, 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 the Jesuits. Yes. 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 Yeah, yeah. That's the Jesuits. The, the Council of Nicaea. Yeah, yeah, that's all madness. Yeah. We, don't, we don't subscribe to none of their councils. Remember, their councils are to make Israel be no more, no longer in the remembrance. But King James, he's an Israelite. Yeah. He was trying. His council was to make sure Israel remember that the that the Israelites mm. because they, because they was before they was doing was uh, getting the frankincense. And just going, oh, oh, and just making a lot of noise. Like the monks. Right? Like the, like the Muslims. And the monks and that, yeah. Buddhism. Yahweh Sap. Your name in the Hebrew is Yahweh Sap. Yahweh Sap. Yahweh Sap. Yahweh Sap. Y-A-W-W. No, no, O. Right, let me write. Go close though. Go real close, Billy. Yeah, yeah, it's not hard. Y A W A S A T. That's Joseph. That's the. That's one of the. That's, that's the, the. love. The most loved one of Israel. Isn't it? Jacob loved that son, his son Joseph so much, man. In my colorful coat, you know what I mean? But the other brothers were envious of him, man. Yeah. Sold him into slavery into the Egyptians. Right, right. And Ishmael was uh, was confederate with that as well. Brought him, brought him to the Egyptians. Ishmael. Mm. Bro, I hope Appreciate you can uh, understand what's going on, man. I hope you can build yourself in the that's faith. That's plan, bro. That's plan. Build yourself in the laws and commandments. You know what I mean? You can come closer to study what you got free as well. Yeah, brothers can help you out with that stuff. Is that obsidian you're wearing there? What's the stone you've got there? Not that one, it's the stone. Ah, the stone is a stone, man. It's not Okay. It's Shanghai. Okay. It's Shanghai stone. It's not Asilius. These are the stones we think about. They're called tribe stones. Okay. Understand? Yeah. These are the precious 12 stones for each of the tribes. And these are the stones that will come out of Jordan. Uh, the River Jordan is to remember that the Most High. Joshua, yeah. Uh, how, he, how he parted, he parted the River Jordan for us, man. So, uh, stone, the stones that are there. Uh, peace and love, man. Yeah. Come on, let's read that quickly. Uh, what, what do you want? Uh, jo uh, Joshua chapter. Joshua chapter 4 and verse 6 it says that this may be a sign among you that when your children ask their fathers in time to come saying what mean you by these stones this is the book of Joshua this is the book of Joshua chapter 4 and verse 6 that this may be a sign among you that when your children ask their fathers in time to come, saying, what mean you by these stones? Then you shall answer them that the waters of Jordan were cut off before the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord. When it passed over Jordan, the waters of Jordan were cut off and these stones shall be for a memorial unto the children of Israel forever. Yeah, so that's what the stones represent, man. You gotta remember the, the twelve, the, the twelve, uh, the breastplate of Israel, man. It's calm. Right. 
throw stones, man, forever, man. Really? That's right. And the children of Israel did so as Joshua commanded and took up 12 stones out of the midst of Jordan as the Lord spake unto Joshua according to the number of the tribes of the children of Israel and carried them over with them and unto the place where they lodged and laid down there. And Joshua set out 12 and Joshua set out 12 stones in the midst of Jordan in the place where the feet of the priests which bear the Ark of the Covenant stood and they are there unto this day. Yeah, so that's what it's about. Right? It's not about no other stone. Right? You might see guys with all these little stones and all these little, little other things. All them stones don't mean a damn thing, man. Can, huh? It's about the, the breastplate of Israel, man. That's right. Those are the precious stones, man. That's right. right. Give me that in um, Genesis, uh, Revelations. This is uh, chapter 21. This is, uh, where shall I start? Uh, uh, 19. This is Revelation 21 verse 19. And the foundations of the wall of the city were garnished with all manner of precious stones. The first foundation was jasper, the second sapphire, the third chalcedony, the fourth an emerald, the fifth sardonyx, and the sixth sardius, sardius the seventh chrysolite, the eighth beryl, the ninth a topaz, the tenth a Christ, a chrysoparis, the eleventh a jacinth, the twelfth an amethyst. Yeah. yeah, so they're the 12 tribe stones, man. Each of those stones are a representation of one of the tribes of Israel. Alright? And that's what we need to be hearkening to, man. Alright? Those stones, those stones don't burn under natural um, laser light. Diamonds, rubies burn under light. Alright? Under laser light, man. But these stones, they don't burn. They actually repel the light under laser light man and it goes out like, and makes it brighter man all right this is why this is this this like these stones uh, the attributes in them i forgot the name of it man but there's a there's a scientific you know these crazy names they got yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. right the light is powerful man and it's um i looked it up one day i found out that these these stones are the they're the, they're, the, they're the same stones that what's it called? Um, the 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 queen had on a on a the crown on the a crown. crown, man. The crown jewels. The crown jewels, man. They stole the they stole the pillow of Jacob. Then they stole the the the, the jewels um, of the Israelites, man. Get get that um, Joel chapter two, and get um, this uh, the the gold to be a witness against them. Um, James. James chapter, James chapter two. Two. This is Joel chapter 2 and verse oh, 3. Yeah, jo jo Joel 3 and verse 3 says, And they have cast lots for my people and have given a boy for a harlot and sold a girl for wine that they might drink. Yea, and what have you to do with me, O Tyre and Sidon, and all the coasts of Palestine? Ye will render me a recompense, and if ye recompense me swiftly and speedily, will I return your recompense upon your own head. Because ye have taken my silver and my gold and have carried into your temples my goodly and pleasant things. Uh, uh, they've taken the silver and gold, man. Uh, and that silver and gold and pleasant things are the most high's uh, chosen people and, uh, yeah, that's right. and, uh, and um, the ornaments and things, man. That's right. That's right. Taking the menorah. 
they've taken the, the, the stones, the breastplates, yeah. they sacked Jerusalem, and what, what do you think we done? We went in and took all them things and put them, brought them with us. I mean, we might have one or two teams, but we weren't picking up no damn, you know what I mean? Big, big menorahs. Big menorahs. And, yeah. We weren't picking that up with us, man. It's like the same way we fled Egypt, isn't it? Just a quick get out. Yeah, just get out, like. And they gave us gold. Yeah, that's, mm -hmm. yeah, that's that right. That was a bit of different, right. man. When we left Egypt, they gave, they gave us, us gold. gold. That's right, that's right. Yeah, we came back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, verse... Verse 1 to 3. This is the book of James, chapter 5, verse 1. Bring up. Go. Go to now, ye rich men. Weep how for your miseries that shall come upon you. Your riches are corrupted, and your garments are moth-eaten. Your gold and your silver is cracking, and the rust of them shall be a witness against you. And the what? And, and the, the rust, rust of them shall, shall be a witness against, against you. you. And shall eat your flesh as it were fire. Yeah, yeah, so that's, yeah, that's right. Come on, you have heaped treasure together for the last days. Yeah, man, know that treasure that they've got, all right? That's for their last days, man. The most I don't want them, I mean, being rich and all that. It's gonna bring down them from their from their riches and their high pass, man, the high places, man. All right, read that, bro. This is the book of Job. Chapter 27. This is Job 27 and verse 16. Though he heap up silver as the dust and prepare raiment as the clay, yeah. he may prepare it, but the just shall put it on and the innocent shall divide the silver. And there you go, man. Even though you prepare all of that, that gold and you got all our present things, all right? The just are gonna have it, man. That's right. You ain't gonna have that stuff. That's made for us, man. Can't. The most I says we're gonna take back all our breastplates, all our crowns, uh, all our gold, man. That's right. That's, Solomon had that, man. Yeah, yeah. A lot of it's got Solomon's stamp on that, man. That's right. You're gonna, it's gonna be a witness against you. I dare you see a piece of gold and it's got. The, uh, the crest of David on there, man. You know, like how they, they hallmark everything. Yeah, now, hallmark it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's where they probably go from. Make us boil up. Right? Remember in all the, 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 the uh, your fevery, man? Where is that in all the About how they're teeth. Is it uh, Jeremiah 22 and 13? Yeah. Where's the one in the, uh, the man that loves teeth? The man can't, the man that can't stop teeth, man. Him even teeth with bones. Can't. Damn yeah, yeah, yeah. This is Jeremiah 22 verse 13. Woe unto him that buildeth his house by unrighteousness and his chambers by wrong, that useth his neighbor's service without wages and giveth him not for his work. There you go, man. How about stealing and taking all the... It's going to be a witness against you, man. All of that madness that you lot are doing, thinking that you can just put that down. Steal all our auntie's money and our sister's money, man. All right? All of that, is, all, even that alone, is going to be a witness against, against, against them, man. That's right. How much millions and billions they got of that they make from our... Um, uh, the, the most size chosen people, man. Damn. This is the book of Obadiah. This is the book of Obadiah. Uh, verse 5. If the thieves came unto thee, if robbers by night, how art thou cut off? Would they have not stolen till they had enough? Mm -hmm. If the grape gatherers came, to thee, would they not leave some grapes? How are the things of Esau searched out? How are his hidden things sought up? Yeah, man. All they do, they won't leave enough, man. Give me um, uh, Second Ezra 9:21. Second Ezra 9:21. Yeah. 
Uh, they don't they don't leave nothing man. They just they just rape, kill, steal, killing. Uh, and they'll take all the grapes off of the tree, then chop the tree down, so you ain't got none, man. Come. We can't trust them, man. That's why the guys are like, can you trust them? We can't trust your mum, man. We'll never, and I ain't rusting. We'll never ever trust in that woman, man. I'm sorry to say, man. Wait, sorry, sorry, man, sorry. <laughs> That's better, eh? Wait, sorry, 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 man, sorry. Not sorry. Right, your dad should be sorry, man. Your dad should be sorry. All right, for doing that wrong, man. Because it's against the commandments of the Lord. Uh. Hey, sister, beautiful dress, you know. Beautiful dress. We love you. All right, from... This is the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 9, verse 21. Bring it out. And I saw and separated it greatly, and have kept me a grape of the cluster, and a plant of a great people. Let the multitude perish then, which was born in vain. And that's what's going to happen, man. The multitude are going to perish, because they were born as Edomites, man. They were born as heathens, man. All right? And two-thirds of our people are born in vain as well, man. All right? my great Yes. And the Most High is going to keep his one third, his elect of Israel. That's who he's keeping. And my plan, Sister. for with great harbor have I made it perfect. Come here, come here. You see what it is, right? I want to know who, you, who our people are, who, who, who they think they are today. That's what we want to know. Now, who do you, where, where, where are you from? Now, where's your dad from? Country. Yeah, like where are you from? Jamaica. Jamaica. Now you see that word Jamaica? It means the land of wood and water. Is that any different to the people in Trinidad? Are they not are they not the same? Are they do they not all go through the same things? By the white man? Are they not all on the same ship that come from West Africa? So what are you preaching today? Well try I'm telling you right now that you see the same people that is in Trinidad, Barbados, Jamaica. They're all the same people. Just because they were dropped off there by the so-called white man, I don't make them different. And even the Hispanics were the same as them as well. They, are, they go through the same things. The Dominican. The Dominican people, right? They're the Latino. Haitians, ha 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 because one owned by the Spanish, one owned by the French. Does that mean they're not the same people? They're the same slave people. You understand? So what we're trying to say is that these people that went through this condition here is in the Bible. We're going to read it to you. I'm going to refer to you all. See, oh, that's our brother, you know? Hermano, hermano, compadre. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 28, brother. ¿Qué tal, tío? ¿Qué tal? Chapter 28. Uh, you are by 28. 28. Yeah, 68. Yeah, 68. No rasta, no rasta. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. The Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. So listen, again. listen. So look, the Most High huh? said, listen, 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 listen. We'll bring us into Egypt. All right. What religion are you following? That's all I'm asking. We're not a religion. We're a nation of Israel. Yeah. What nation is it? The Israelite nation. Israel. of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Oh. This is the book of Exodus. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 2. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. So out of the land of Egypt, out, out of the, the house, house of bondage. bondage. Egypt is another way of saying bondage. It's another word, you know what I mean? That's a, it's a place, but the word Egypt's got a name. Like Jamaica means land of wood and water. Egypt means bondage. slave, bondage. All right, read that. Deuteronomy 28, 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again, again with ships. With ships. So the Israelites, we went into Egypt by walking. You know, have you heard about uh, Joseph when the, when the brothers sold him into slavery? But you, do you know that Bible, you know the story about Joseph? You know the story about Moses? When he said, all right. So when the, the Israelites, they went into Egypt by walking from Israel up here. But then he said in the New in the Old Testament, he says we're going to find out that we're going to go into slavery with ships. Now this happened, future prophecy. 
because we never listen to the Most High. You understand? There's a prophet, there's a, there's a law in the Bible that we can't sleep with the other nations. Right. So called black man can't sleep with a white woman. Or Indian or Chinese. And the same thing, the, 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 the black woman, so called black woman, can't sleep with a damn Arab man because he's from Dubai and he's got, a, he's got the bag. You can't do them things. Alright? So we go into slavery with ships. By the way, where have I spake unto thee? Thou shalt see it no more again. We're not going to see our homeland again. Not Mama Africa, Israel, Jerusalem, mm. right? Read. And there you shall be sold unto your this enemies. To our friends. Unto your, your enemies. enemies. are our enemies. The Caucasian in the that's, that's right. That's the Israelites' enemies. Wake them up. All right. For bond men and bond women. And that's what we got bonds. You know all that first that you have? Yeah. yeah. It's a bond. Surname. You know what's a bond on you? You know your last name? Is it not? Is it? Is it? Is it the, is it the name of an African man? Of a West African man, is it? The, but is it the name of a, a Caucasian man? It's because it's our plantation owner, right? Of, of what we was cooking, cutting sugar cane, or picking cotton, or getting bananas, right? Right? And no man shall buy. You. And there's no reparations. No one's gonna buy us back and say these are your reparations. You know what reparation means? Like in the context of being paid. I don't want reparations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're not getting no reparations. The only way we can go back is with the most high. Give me Numbers chapter 35 and verse 33. This is Numbers chapter 35 and verse 33. This is reparation. Read this. So ye shall not pollute the land when, wherein ye are, for blood it defileth the land. The blood of our ancestors have defiled the land. I can see nothing of blood. Right? <laughs> The Native Americans were gunned down with a Gatling gun That's and right. they stole their lands. Blood is now defiled all the lands, right? right? Read. And the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein. So none of this land can be cleansed, all right? But by the blood of him that shed it. So the same people that done this to our ancestors. Brothers need to be in focus with us. Right? So I'll repeat this up for you, brother. Right? The, 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 the see these people that shed our blood, it can't be this land can't be cleansed until these people's blood be shed for what they've done to our sisters, our mums, and what they've done to our children. Do you get that? So what our, what, our, what we need to do is to now know that as we are these are the commandments that was given to the Israelites. This is a curse on the Israelites. So that's why we say what is the nationality? Is it Jamaican? The Jamaicans were put on ships, the same right. as the Bajans, same as the, ha the Haitians, as the Dominicans. Right. These are not their name in the Bible. The Bible calls them. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 20. Uh, the heritage. Give me the heritage. This is Jeremiah chapter 17. No, 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 no. Give me the one you said. This oh, is the oh, yeah, yeah. So this is Sirach, the book of Sirach chapter 24, verse 23 says all these things are the book of the covenant so all these things that we're reading are in this book is a covenant all right of the most high god from the most high even the law even this law which moses commanded for an heritage so, unto the congregations of jacob so the congregations of jacob jacob has 12 sons israelites so this book is our, our heritage we're not we're not a, a religion well, we, our heritage is the, is our ancestors. We got a will. So what version of the Bible is that? This is the King James version. That was written by a white man. King James is a so-called black man. Mm -hmm. They lied to you. The King James. They yeah, but, lied to yeah, you. but there's, do you know there's Black Boy Lane down the road? Yeah. Do you know why it's called Black Boy Lane? Yeah. Because King Charles, he was his nickname was Black Boy. There was black kings that ran England, Scotland and Wales. Yes. And I know you've heard of that before. That's Teach not the first time you've heard of it. Yeah. There was black kings in England. Right. You know there's three lions on the shirt. Why are there lions? There's no lions in England. That's right. Them lions are representation Wait, of the southern kingdom of Israel. Judah, Wait. Benjamin and Levi. God. You know Solomon had a throne and he had lions on each of the steps, on seven steps. On, on left and the right. And, and two behind him. Right. The, the, the Solomon has, has lions with him. 
you know where the conquering lion of Judah? That's what they have heard of that before. Give me that in Revelation. The lions are ours. The lions don't represent nothing of the Caucasians. He's a he's a so-called black man. He's brown. Because you're not black. So you're not a, you're not black, sister. Your trainers are black here, and your skin is brown, sister. That's right. Don't let them lie to you anymore. They're not white. Look, he is pink. He's he's pink. They're all pink people. Understand? This man is not white, sister. He's just look, white. Look, look. His shirt is white, his shoes is white, but his skin is pink and red. He's a red man. You understand? Stop right. letting them lie to us, sister. Right. All right, read this. This is Revelation chapter five, verse. chapter 5 of verse 5. And one of the elders saith unto me, Weep not, behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah. The lion of the tribe of what? The, the lion, lion of, of the, the tribe, tribe of Judah. Judah. We have the lions. They don't have lions. They've got dogs and and foxes over here Rats. and rabbits and that you understand lions come from israel yeah. of the tribe of judah read the root of david have prevailed to open the book and lose so the right. seven seals thereof yeah so this is this book has been is inherited for israelites not religion you pentecostal baptist jehovah witness all them religions are they're not this is the uh, all these religions are uh, Rastafarian. These religions are not needed in the Bible. Read that. This is James 1 and verse 26. Pick it out. If any man among you seem to be religious. If anyone seem to have religions and bridleth not his tongue, but deceiveth his own heart, this man's religion is vain. Because there's a because that's all vanity. Because did you know that the kingdom of heaven, all right, you know what the kingdom of heaven looks like? Get revelation. Because you know you wanna have you wanna go to heaven, right? Well we do, we do. It's there, it's written in the Bible. Well who wrote that? They went to heaven and came back. Yeah, they went to heaven and saw what heaven looks like. See, I this is where I get nothing. It's not religion, sister. It's an heritage for the Israelites. Because you know what heaven's gonna look like? What has ever happened to us, right? It's gonna happen back to the other nation. Heaven is on earth, right? Have you ever heard of hell on earth? You're living in hell. So this is where heaven is gonna be, on this earth. Well, where, if heaven is on earth, have you never heard of heaven on earth? I have, but again, that's... So where do you think heaven is? Like with, with little, on, on clouds, with babies and nappies on the wings? I don't know, you don't know either. No, but is that what you have, you've pictured it in your head? That heaven I don't looks really like, like to touch the, the mind is limited. So I don't really like to touch. Like, there's something else that needs to be like, I don't like to touch the images. Oh, yeah, cool. yeah, things that are beyond what's like my capacity. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. that's too heavy. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. That's good. You, what you said is what the Bible says. It says that if anything's too heavy, don't get don't yeah. on it. It's, just, it's not for you. And we agree with that, right? Good. This is uh, Revelation chapter 21 and verse, where shall I start? Uh, no, 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 we shouldn't say that. Heaven, heaven, heaven. Uh, what's it? 20, uh, Revelation 21 and, 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 one. Oh, well, and 1. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away. So the first heaven and the first earth were passed away. Me. And there was no more sea. And this is the new heaven, right? The new heaven on earth, right? Read. And I, John, saw the, the get, holy get, get, city, get heaven, get New heaven. Jerusalem, coming down from, from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. All right. So get verse 12. This verse, is heaven, all right? Read. Verse 12. And had a wall great and high and had a wall great and high and had 12 gates and had 12 gates and at the gates 12 angels and there's 12 angels at the gates and names written thereon which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel so look we're at the end of the book see that so from Genesis all the way to the end of the book it's always mentioning Israelites it's mm -hmm. not mentioning Jamaicans Haitians Dominicans you understand uh, Ghanaians or Nigerians, they're Israelites, right? They're not mentioning any of them names, but they need, we need to know who we are in the end days. The way we say Israel in Hebrew is Yasha Allah. 
this guy, and his name is, do you know, do you know about the, the, that they say Jaja? The name of the father, there's no J in, the, in Hebrew. It's Yah. Do you know they say Kumbaya, Hallelujah. Do you, you know what they say, um, Yahawa? Do you say that? Yahawa is the most highest name. And Yahawa Shai, do you say that? Is who they call Jesus. You know that who they call Jesus, Yahweh Shai, he's got woolly hair. They say this ain't Jesus, you know. You know that, right? That's what I said. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. All right, we'll show you. This is Revelation chapter one and verse. Um, uh, shall I just start the point? Fourteen. It says his head and his yes. hair were white like wool. His head and his hair was white like wool. As white as snow. As white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. So have you know what woolly looks like? Who's got woolly hair? What nation has woolly hair? Right. So-called black people. We're brown, remember? What they, who they call black today? The Negroes? we got woolly hair. White, white woolly hair. See how the brother's got the wood white on his, on his beard? Out of here. Right, white woolly hair, that's what the Messiah's got. Woolly hair like white woolly hair like that, right? Go on. Verse 15. He hasn't got hair like this guy. Right? That guy is no hair like that guy. No mopping. And his feet right. like unto fine brass. And his feet like unto fine brass. You know the colour of brass? Brass. Yeah, feet like unto brass. You know what the colour of brass is? What so what 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 skin is what colour skin has he got? So we do but, know what he looks yeah, like, but, sister. No, but you know, you know, you don't know what he looks like. We just you know, read it. No, 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 no. But you know, we've got pictures. We've got some pictures. You know certain features. features, but you can't. If someone was to say to you, draw a picture, you, yeah, we can't, can't draw a picture. That. No, we can't. We can't. So we wouldn't do that. You, you understand? That's why you that don't see us with any image of you Christ. You know he's a black man, but you don't know what he looks like. So called black, but we definitely know he don't look like Caucasian. Oh, like this man. He don't look like this guy. This is not Jesus, Maybe no way. Because the Bible never says that. It says he's got woolly hair. Right. So this can't be Jesus. This is the image they give us. Mm -hmm. His name is Yahweh Shai. I'll show you Understand? Right. Read, read verse one. Revelations one of verse one. The revelation of Jesus Christ. This is, the re this is what, so he's revealing Jesus Christ. You know what it is to reveal, right? To show you what he's about, what he looks like, what he's gonna do. Right. Which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John. So John see, saw what he looks like. John could have drawn a picture of him. We mm -hmm. can't. All we can do is know, all right, he's got a woolly hair, he's got brass skin, he's got a deep voice like water. He's got eyes that, like, like red eyes. This guy's got blue eyes. So what is your... What's What's the point of all of this today? Get Matthew chapter 4 verse 19. This is Matthew chapter 4 verse 17. And verse, we're going to do what? The, we're going to do this. Matthew chapter 4 verse 17. From that time, Jesus began to preach. Yahweh Shai. Yep, Yahweh Shai. Began to preach so and say. So we're going to preach, all right, and say. Repent. Do the me, chapter 20. For the kingdom of heaven is at hand. So do you know what repent means? What does repent mean? To show remorse. To show remorse of what? Sins. Sins. What is a sin? Everything. Oh, sin isn't everything. Not everything, but mostly. Is it a sin to stand right here, right now? It depends on your intention. No, no, it's not a sin to stand here. It depends on your intention. Is it a sin to get that bus to 76? It's no. There's not. We'll show you what a sin is, because you don't know. Okay? Is it the book of 1 John? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the book of 1 John, chapter 3 and verse 4. Whosoever committed sin, Trans also, whosoever committed sin transgresseth also so the, the law. law. For, For sin, sin is, is the transgression of the law. A sin is a going against God's laws. It says, don't steal, don't kill, don't be a batman, don't be a lesbian. These are laws. Don't eat pork, don't eat prawns and crab and lobster. These are going against God's laws. We're 100% we're clothing, 100% cotton. This is a law. Right? So let, let's read, let's show you a law, sister, right? Deuteronomy 22 and 5. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22 and 5. The woman shall not wear that 
which pertaineth unto a man. A woman can't wear which pertaineth unto a man. Alright? Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. You see that? A man wouldn't wear that. A man wouldn't wear that. You understand? A man wouldn't wear a woman's garment. Okay? And that's the reason why. For all that do so are an abomination unto the Lord thy God. Uh, if we wore women's clothes, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be cool, right? It wouldn't, look, it wouldn't stop us to listen to us, right? Look, who this pastor, right? You understand? So, any man can't wear No, but women, you can't wear what pertains unto men. 